Hello my dear watchers and welcome to our YouTube channel. Have you ever thought about what personality type you have? For sure, the answer is yes. Passing personality tests helps us understand the strengths and weaknesses of our character and become the best version of ourselves. By creating and passing personality quizzes, you can increase your website traffic, generate more leads, target your audience and learn more about your website visitors. Interested? Let's get started! In order to create an advanced personality quiz, you need to have the pro version of the QuizMaker plugin installed on your WordPress dashboard. I have already installed the plugin so as not to waste time. So please let me explain the steps to make the best personality quiz. Firstly, we need to create questions and add them to the quiz. So we head to the questions page and click on the add new button and scroll down a little bit to add our question for instance what is your perfect friday night and we scroll down a little bit to add um, our answer options so here for instance a night in the sofa a night on the sofa the second one will be for example partying until sunday and the next one will be for instance i will work in the office and going to the restaurant going to the restaurant so as you can see we can also attach images to answer options uh, and we click on the add button and add the corresponding images connected to the topic so parting until sunday it will be this one i will work in the office will be the following one and of course the last one going to restaurant it will be this one so as you can see we have attached images to each answer option so uh, what is important here is correctly configuring the keyword system so we need to at add assign one keyword to each answer option a b c and d please ignore the weight point system for each answer option as it's a personality quiz and doesn't have any correct answers However, please note that you need to tick one of the answer options as correct so that a system can be closed and you can pass on to the next question. Please note that uh, choosing one of the answers as correct will not have any effect on, on the scoring system on the calculation of the quiz. So we just click it and choose correct. Uh, Choose it as a correct one so that the system can be closed and you can create a new question. Then we save the changes. So your question is ready. So we can create the second question together with you so that everything can be clear for you. We save and close the question and cl click again to add new button. Here we need to write the second question. For example, we will write your dream uh, playlist your dream playlist and here we need to add again answer options so first one will be for example techno the second one will be something chill the third one will be for instance jazz and we add another answer option that will be for example my own playlist my own playlist so uh, here there is no need to attach an image so we configure again the keyword system a b c and d and ignore the weight point uh, system and choose one of the answer options as correct again so that a system can be closed and we can pass on to the creation of the next question so together we have created uh, the questions of our quiz some of them 
I have uh, added uh, other questions as well, but I haven't displayed the creation process so that um, we will not waste any time. So in order to uh, continue the process of creating our personality quiz, we need to go to the quizzes page and add our quiz. So we click on the add new button and right here, for instance, personality quiz as a title for our quiz. Here it is, personality quiz. So uh, the next step is going to the settings tab. So here we need to configure some settings. You need to, of course, untick the show correct answers option so that there um, there will be no correct and incorrect answers displayed on the front end as it's a just a personality quiz and there are no correct or incorrect answers here after unticking the show correct answers option we head to the result settings tab and tick the height score option yeah it is already ticked here so we tick the height score option so the score will not be displayed on the front end again as it's just a personality quiz and there there is no scoring system here so as we are on a result settings tab let me show you the settings configuration the remaining ones so we scroll down a little bit to see the intervals feature please note that we need to choose by keywords method of calculation for the intervals feature when creating a personality quiz so here we need to configure our text interval messages that will be displayed based on the interval the user has appeared in so we click for instance and write introvert as one interval message the second one will be in extrovert the next one will be for instance family man and the last one will be for instance a workaholic so based on the user's chosen keywords uh, we will display one of these interval messages on a results page as you can see we can also add an image here uh, to each interval so for an introvert we will uh, insert for example um, this uh, image for and uh, we click on the upload button then we go to the next uh, interval message extrovert for example we will write um, this one as it's a friendly uh, image then the next one is the family man so we can insert for example this image and for the last one it was the workaholic so we can add uh, this image here uh, so uh, also we can um, make use of the actions field here are the redirect url and redirect delay uh, seconds options so here we can insert the url we need to redirect to the users when they choose introvert uh, interval message and we can do this for all the interval options like this our next step is going to the user data tab and uh, adding the information form option for the quiz so you can choose information form option to be displayed either before quiz or after quiz whatever you prefer most so uh, we need to drag the fields from the available fields and drop them to the active fields so we take for instance the name the email and the phone fields uh, we dra drag them from the available fields and drop them to the active fields uh, we can make um, any of these uh, fields as required so that the users can skip uh, filling them in our next step is of course uh, adding our created questions to the quiz so for this we head to the general tab and scroll down a little bit here we can see the add questions button we click on it and choose our created questions then we click on the select questions button so we have successfully added four questions to our personality quiz then uh, after making all these changes we just save our personality quiz 
So after creating our personality quiz, of course, we need to see our created quiz on the front end. So for that, we go to the post page and click on the add new post button. Here we will name our uh, post as a personality test and uh, we go back to our quiz, then copy the shortcut of the quiz and paste it to the blog and we publish the post. So we click on the view post button to see our quiz on the front end, here it is. So we click on the start button and we need to fill the name and email fields here as they are required. So we write name here, test at gmail.com and the phone number is not a required field so we can um, just skip it. We click on the next button and uh, here we need to write our answer options, uh, choose our answer options. So based on our chosen answer options and keywords, we have the interval message as a uh, family man. So uh, our personality type is family man. So together we have created a personality quiz which will help you to learn more about your website visitors and target uh, them based on their preferences. So besides creating personality quizzes, I would like to mention about top keywords feature of our plugin. So if you are interested in showing the question results based on keywords on a results page, then you need to make use of our top keywords feature. Uh, with the help of this feature, you can learn which percentage of what personality trait you have. So whether you are active or calm or whether you are tolerant or, or impulsive. So with the help of our top keywords functionality, you will achieve this result. Please let me explain the steps to make the top keywords feature work correctly for you. I have already created a quiz, added questions accordingly, so as not to waste our time. So uh, let's imagine we have four questions here. Uh, that means we need to have four keywords, A, B, C, and D. And we need to assign one keyword for each question. Let me show this. Uh, we go to for our created questions. Scroll down a little bit and we will see this. Uh, we have created a question and added answer options to it. And as you can see, we have one keyword for this question that is A. And we need to configure the weight point system here and uh, give points to each uh, answer options. Uh, so here we have given two uh, points for the second answer option. Uh, also, you need to choose one of the answer options as correct again so that a system can be closed and you can pass on to the next question then uh, here is the question with a keyword here is the question with b keyword again with the corresponding weight point system then comes the c keyword and d keyword so for this quiz particularly we have four personality traits which are tolerant, impulsive, calm and active and we need to learn what percentage of what personality trait we have. So for that, please follow these steps. After correctly configuring the keywords and weight points for each question, we go back to our created personality trait quiz, go to the result settings tab, scroll down a little bit and we will see the apply points to keywords option. We need to tick this option. By ticking this option, the system will take the value provided in the weight point column for the certain keyword. For example, you can give two values for the A keyword in the certain answer instead of the default value. In the end, the system will sum up the point of each keyword and will show the keyword-based message which got the highest score. By scrolling down a little bit, we will see the assign message to each keyword option. By taking this option, uh, we can show results question results based on keywords on a results page with specified text for each keywords. 
As you can see, we have top keywords count count and top keywords percentage count message variables here. You need to uh, choose one of these message variables. We will choose top keywords percentage count as it's more appropriate for our case, for our quiz. So, and we need to configure the tags. Uh, we have tolerant, impulsive, calm and active. So our next step is copying the top keywords percentage count message variable and pasting it into the result message option. So here we paste it here and uh, we need to set the count we prefer for our case it is 4 as we want to learn percentage of 4 uh, personality traits. Then we of course save the changes. So together we have correctly configured the settings for the top keywords feature functionality. So in order to see our created quiz on the front end, we need to uh, go to the post page and create a new post by clicking on the add new button. Here we need to write the name of our post, it will be personality trait test and then go back to our personality trait quiz and copy the short code and paste here and click on the publish button uh, then we post and here is our quiz so we click on the start button fill in the required fields here it, these are email field and name field so we click on the next button choose uh, the particular answers you uh, prefer so we will see the result so we are active 80% uh, so we are impulsive 20% and we are not tolerant and not calm as we get 0% for these top keywords so Today together we have created a personality test which is the best way to learn more about your visitors' interests, character traits and preferences. It helps us to boost interpersonal communication as you can put yourself in someone's shoes and understand how other people can feel in this or that particular situation. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye!